Hey there DIYers and preppers. Today we're going to cover how to do vacuum sealing on ball jars and various canisters. Stay tuned. <laughs> So here I'm going to show you how I do vacuum sealing of the different jars, canisters. And this is rather than doing the traditional canning, we're just doing a vacuum seal. And we're using a couple different methods to do so. We've got this Nesco um, sealer that you can do the uh, sealing of the your various um, goods for uh, doing the vacuum seal products. I um, also use that for my uh, Mylar packaging. This particular vacuum sealer also has a port here for canisters. And it's got a canister setting. So you can use this hose and you put this here. And then you can put it on top of, say, like this little device. This, this lid will go over top of uh, these ball jars here. And it will pull the um, all the air out and do a vacuum seal on that and the other method is you can put any type of either ball jar or um, any any jar that's got a sealable lid and you can put that inside here and then put this on top put this in here and this will pull out all the air out of the canister which will also draw the air out of the little jar itself so we'll go ahead and get that demonstrated here in a couple different uh, instances. Let's, uh, we'll actually do some product here. So we got some stuff we want to store for longer than what would just be standard. It's like here, this has a uh, shelf life. It says to use best before October 24. So that's just, what, um, 10 months away, nine months away. But by doing this, we can actually preserve this to where it'll last, you know, in the upwards of 10 years um, being vacuum sealed and preserved. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and put these in here. So by the way, uh, prior to filming this video, these are brand new ball jars. I had uh, thoroughly washed them, made sure they're nice and clean and sanitary. We got that in there and now one thing we'll do just to um, have an extra layer of uh, protection is I've got these little oxygen meters the uh, deoxidizers, deoxidizers. I'm just throw one of those in there and then good so we don't even have to put the that part of the lid on we can just have just the uh, well let's go ahead and put that on anyway just so it'll center it I feel better about that so we'll pull this lid off, set this jar down here, let's put it directly in the center. Now this actually hits on top of this, but the lid still closes so that it gives you um, a, a good vacuum. So now we're on the open. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the sill. And then of course I got this hose here, pressed down into that. And then this just goes here and presses down firmly into there. So you got that. Now, one thing I do is because this is literally, if you look, this is just sitting right on top. And um, just to make sure that I get a good seal, I can go ahead and press on the canister. You can see it's now it's pulling air out. I'm just pushing down. I can feel this actually, but uh, you can feel the vacuum coming on this. And already now, you can see the lid is. Uh, I'm just going to do this twice. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. You can see the lid is on there, vacuum. So now, go ahead and turn this to open. You can hear that air suck out of there. So then this pulls off. And now that I got this on here, that is on there good. And just to prove it, we'll go ahead and just pop this up so you can see that it is, in fact, um, vacuum sealed. Oh, that's on there. Wow, yeah. So definitely does a good vacuum. 
So I actually want to store these in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Put that in there. Make sure it's centered. Put that there. Put that to seal. Press that in there. We'll do it one more time. Okay. So that one is done. Now let's go ahead and try this other method. And this one time we'll be using this lid um, vacuum seal option so you can see it's got the nice blue gasket here to do a good seal and so it'll just go over top so in this case this one actually you can't put the, the threaded ring on there it's just got to be this alone so go ahead and find some more noodles we want to Down so I can put some more in there. Okay. Put that in there. Got the lid. So now here we'll go ahead and just put this over the top of that. Press down. And press this down in here and go ahead and put the canister again. Right. It's, it's, you know what I forgot to do? Go ahead and pull this off. Okay. I forgot to put my, my uh, deoxidizer in there. Let's pull out a couple noodles. I have some room here. Okay, got that there. Put this back on. Okay, let's so now go ahead and pull that out. Be gentle with pulling this off because the gasket is pretty snug on there and it's possible it could pull that up, but because the vacuum is so strong, I highly doubt. But anyway, so there is another jar of vacuum sealed. Go put the lid on that one. Then the last thing I'll do here for a demonstration is show you that you can also vacuum seal like any jar like a jam jar or anything like this had jalapeno uh, stuffed olives anything that's got a good seal here on the on the lid you can reuse these so wash them up and then you can put anything you want to uh you know, preserve for longer shelf life than what you'd real regularly have if you didn't do the vacuum so you literally just put the lid on there tighten it up put this back on turn it to seal your plug in and it's 
right now. I'm going to pull that. You heard that pop. I think I should have done a double vacuum. Let me go ahead and do that again. Put the lid on. Insert the thing. Put it on sill. And start the canister in the mode. Time. Okay. Cut out. Pull the lid out, and you can see this jar vacuum sealed. Now listen to me when I open it. Heard that pop? Air got in. So again, you can vacuum seal pretty much anything. So we got this canister with this vacuum seal top. It's got the port there to allow the vacuum to, or the uh, yeah the air to come out. So we got that type, and then you got this other kit that you can get that just goes right over the top of your jars. So it's got it for the larger and the smaller um, form factor lid. Um, so either one will work. And then also when you buy this kit, it also comes with the hand pump. So if you didn't have this um, vacuum sealed type of device that'll draw it out you can use the hand pump and you're just pumping it out and since i have this i have no use no reason to use that that's for just for backup so anyway um that's what we got i'll put links down below for where to find the vacuum sealer and this canister as well as this little kit here and then uh you have those where you can um, be able to pick those up and if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. And until then, I'll see you on the next one.